hey 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 my pretty ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel if you know who i am i'm suki if you now don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so anytime i do new upload you will be the first person to know the products i use on my skin tone on my skin type on your girl suki and you want to know if something that you want to get stay tuned keep on watching let's get straight into this video guys all right my pretties i'm here with another complexion video we're going to use lancome today you guys so yeah let's go ahead and get into the products these are the ones that i did buy here is the first item this is the actual foundation this is the lancome paris the ultra wear 24 hour up to 24 hour color wear and comfort transfer resistant and i got it in the color 530 and it is one point zero fluid ounces this is how it looks i love the detailing on it. it has like a little flower and it is a pump top i'm gonna squeeze some out on my hand for you guys so we can see the color it is so 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 pretty look at that it's not thick but it oh it's full coverage baby look at this it's more of an olivey tone which should work good for me here is the next item well it's two items this is the concealer this is the lancome paris all over concealer multi tasking concealer up to 24 hour comfort wear i got it in the shade 520 and also the shade 435 it is 0.43 ounces all right so i really think the packaging is really really pretty it's not glass but it is plastic so that's really nice let's go ahead and give them a swatch this one is oh so this one is 435 look at this look at this dope for y'all i like it it's nice and thick so pretty Ooh, that's gonna be a good under eye and then this one is 520 I love the the way they open and I love the dofa it, it's nice oh yeah this one's oh my god they feel matte and they're nice coverage it feels full coverage I like that all right so that's that then I went ahead and I picked up I also picked up the primer y'all this is the Lancome La Base Pro perfecting makeup primer smoothing effect it has 0 0.8 ounces and as you can see it's clear it's supposed to give you a professionally smooth complexion with a soft finish radiant airbrush look all day this is nice it's also supposed to be like a moisturizer so we're gonna try this without a moisturizer to see if the claims is what the claims is supposed to be. It does have a pump top, it's so nice. And again, there's that little flower, if you guys can see it. I'm gonna pump some out of my hand. Okay, come on. You gonna come out? Oh, oh. Ooh, it's... Ooh, can you guys see that? It's really clear and it is you can tell it is a silicone base because yes oh my god it feels like baby skin and as i'm rubbing it i can see how it smooths the skin really nice oh yeah oh yeah it's so soft you guys so soft it reminds me of secure the blur just lighter and more moisturizing that's that's about it that's the only difference for me and it doesn't have a smell that's amazing it does not have a smell a lot of these products be having smells to them and that one does not have a smell i'm so excited all right and the last item i did pick up is this right here my babies all right so this is the lancome fix it forget it Ooh, up to 24 hour makeup setting mist with a plant extract and it has one fluid ounce Makeup stays true to color and complexion fresh. Long wear up to 24 hour. Ultra lightweight. Mist evenly. No stickiness. Doesn't settle into fine lines, wrinkles, or pores. Deflects and protects the skin. Infused with extracts, kiwi, and witch hazel. That's nice. Contains hyaluronic acid. Love it. Oil and fragrance free. I hope I got everything in there, you guys. My camera was acting up. But yeah, this is it right here. It has 
all those claims it just smells fresh it smells fresh and clean but yeah let's go ahead and get into this apple location okay i didn't even do my brows yet you guys like what's wrong with me all right you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick and be all right, right you guys, so i'll also zoom you guys in some so you can really see how these products work again there is nothing on my face the only thing i did was my brows so yeah let's go ahead and start off with the primer i'm gonna put this all over my face y'all know me i goes in i goes in with the primer i don't be playing especially when it costs as much as this okay and i want to push it into this <laughs> it feels yeah it feels very moisturizing love that i hope it doesn't make my makeup oily because it feels very very moist like oh my god like it feels smooth but it feels oily at the same time but you will never know if it's oily until you actually put your base on like this feels like it'll be a good product and especially for under the eyes when you're over the age of 30. you know this is really smooth like what it's just the way it feels it's like i want to put this on my face every day <laughs> that's how good it feels and it did take away some of the shine which is nice so maybe it won't make me shiny but this feels good you guys oh man i love it i love the way it feels can you guys see the difference I don't know if you can, but oh my god, it feels amazing on the skin. And you can pat it in into the pores. Oh, it feels so luxurious, just like butter. Even on the lips, it feels really good. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like I'm not dry, but I'm not oily if that makes any sense it's like the perfect amount of it's like the perfect combination basically so pretty so nice all right love that making my hands feel really silky like me <laughs> my name is silky so what do you expect all right and i'm going to go ahead and spray this on my face also it does spray evenly it does spray evenly that one has like a little a smell but it's not a bad smell all right so let's go ahead and get into the foundation again this is in the shade uh 530c brush i'm gonna go ahead and go on with my m439 brush by morphe and again i'm going to use that spray to spray my brush and we're gonna go ahead and get into this y'all know this is my problem side so let's do this side first okay okay not the fullest coverage but it did something not as full as i would like for it to be but it did something and it's a little dark for me but hey that's okay i'm okay with that it's spreading out evenly which is nice i'm gonna take it on my ear because it is light i mean it is darker so you guys can clearly see that all right look at that so you guys can clearly see the difference it just gives you like a nice even base instead of you know like you see my freckles and things like that on this side so it gives a nice even base so this right here is one layer i'm going to go in with another one to see how much we can build this up, coverage up i'm going to go in with the spray again okay it's a good thing to spray in between putting on your complexion products. It just works very well. Now let's go ahead and go in with the concealer. I'm going to take the light one and put it under my eyes and then put the darker one under it. Y'all know how I do. Didn't think it was going to be that much product on there, but it is. Because it kind of like wipes off the product in there so you don't get so much on your dofa, which is nice. This is a little, this is a little yellow. This stuff is not, I don't think I got the right colors in any of this, but at the same time, you can always make it work. 
want to put it on your forehead. This is going to tone down the orangeness in this foundation. It should make it look nice and right. Because I am looking kind of dark. Now let's go in with a darker shade. Okay. I like to go down the sides of my nose and I also take it around that other color. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my E8 brush and blend this out. And it has been sitting for a minute and it didn't get super, super dry, which is really nice. I like to blend that darker shade out first and then the darker shade for my forehead. And then on that nose. And around the edges of this. And then start with the chin and blend out that light shade. They blend out so nice. It's not a bl bad blend. And look at that's pretty. I thought it was going to be too light, but it's not. And then the forehead. Oh, well, I can go on with another layer if I want to, but I think this is perfect highlight. Perfect. Really perfect. All right, and I smooth this down the nose. And then let's get under the eye. This is really, really pretty, you guys. But I am going to go in and brighten up just a little bit more right under my eye. Look at that. That is just so pretty. So flawless. Yeah, so this is what it looks like on its own, you guys. It's really pretty. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. Love that. Like, that is hard to find. Um, I just love this, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera, finish up the rest of my face, and come back with my final results and final thoughts. But yeah, this is it right here, you guys. So, so, so beautiful. I really, really love it. I really like... Okay, now, the foundation, it is not full coverage, but you can build it up to full coverage. The price is... It's kind of pricey, but I guess worth it. If I had to pick anything of my fave out of all of these, I got to say it is the concealers. I really love the concealers. They are full, full, full coverage. And you can let them set and they don't dry down fast. But they do dry down almost to a matte finish. Really love those. This primer, y'all. This primer, y'all, is so amazing. I think it is worth the coins. This, if I had to pick anything that was pricey out of this whole collection, that was expensive it'd be this it's worth the coins really really nice you guys it my face feels moisturized it doesn't feel heavy love this you guys the setting spray i don't know yet honestly i need to use it with other products to see if i really really like this product to see if i want to repurchase her but for now it works well with this brand with this brand of the other products that is nice you guys really love it but yeah, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Another complexion video, you guys. If you're wondering about the eye look, I will leave it up in the video. And if you're wondering about my nails, I will also leave that video up here somewhere too. And I love you guys. Until next time, bye.